Welcome back to another episode of Trading Secrets. Today, I am joined by stay-at-home mom turned queen of couponing. My mom would love that. Kirsty Torak. Back in early 2020, when approximately 22 million Americans lost their jobs due to COVID-19 pandemic, Kirsty and her family were like many others who had to make adjustments to their daily lives. As inflation hit their bank accounts, hard. Kirstie's husband, being the sole provider for their family, was laid off and she had to find ways to keep things afloat. So Kirstie committed herself to finding every way to save money on everyday items for her family. Her love for couponing inspired her to start a TikTok page at the perfect time and track different discount trends she would see when shopping. Over the next few months, Kirstie mastered her skill of pinching pennies into saving upwards of thousands of dollars a month. From there, her TikTok videos would continuously go viral with shoppers from across the country wanting to discover the next best way to save some money. So today what we want to do is I'm very interested in Kirstie's story, but I really want to get down to the root of it because it's so timely. We got Black Friday coming up this week. We have Cyber Monday coming up and all we know in the news is inflation. So Kiersey, while your story is so damn incredible, this is an episode that is really drilling down to the viewers so we can understand for their purposes and saving money what they can do. So thank you so much for being here and trading all the secrets with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. This is awesome. Okay, well, let's get right into it then, because I know my viewers are going to hear this. First of all, they're going to immediately follow you because who doesn't want to save a couple bucks? <laughs> and secondly, the thing they're going to want to know is what's coming up. It's Black Friday. I already alluded to it. I saw MasterCard's projecting right now. There's going to be a 15% increase in U.S. retail sales. And we already know that you know grocery store prices, 13, 15% inflation. We know that consumer price index is around 8% year over year. So the price of everything is going up. So there's a huge concern with holiday shopping. So coming out right from the get-go, what is the biggest tip you'd give someone as they're preparing for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or just holiday shopping in general, giving these crazy times? Well, I think it's interesting. This Black Friday is going to be a little bit different because we have so much surplus of items that have come out from the pandemic, right? We have all of these items. The stores have mass overages of uh, technology. We have toys. We've got home goods. All of these items they've got in storage units, and they want to get rid of them fast. So while we have a bunch of inflation this year, I think this Black Friday is going to be the year to buy things for dirt cheap. We're already seeing Walmart is going out with their Black Friday sales a month in advance. Each week, there's a new sale at Walmart. Same thing with Amazon. They did the mid-year, then they did another one after Prime Day, and now they're going to do another one during Black Friday. The best thing I can say is shop around because all of these retailers are going to be competing with each other to get rid of their stock as fast as they can. So if you can get on your computer on Black Friday and look and price match at different places, you're going to find the rock bottom price just by looking on your computer and, and comparing prices. I love it. I think that's such good feedback. And so on the recaps for every episode, we have my buddy come on. He's like the voice of the viewer. He doesn't really know too much about the finance industry or money management. So when he hears things in the podcast, he'll be like, all right, I got to ask in the recap. I'm almost going to take the role of the voice of the viewer this episode because there's so many questions I have that I think the viewers are asking that I just simply don't know. So I love the idea, right? The feedback you just gave me is great. I'm going to take the voice of the viewer here and say, sounds great. But where the hell do I go to benchmark other retailers' prices? Like, how do I know who's got the better deal? Am I supposed to go into ads on Sunday? Is there a website? What sources do you use? So I just go ahead and look up. I mean, for me, myself, if you want to just go, the easiest way is to follow me, follow couponers on TikTok and Instagram, because that's what we do. That's our job. I go through and I literally, if I'm going to put something out on the internet, I go through every single retailer and compare to make sure that I'm sharing the most rock bottom price for you. But the other way, if you wanna do it yourself, you can go and look up Black Friday ads in advance. Right now, almost all of the retailers have their Black Friday ads up and available on websites. So you can do the shopping early if you want. The other thing to do is to just take when you're gonna buy something, copy the title of it and paste it into Google. And then at the top, it has all of the retailers that offer that same product and it'll show you the prices right beneath it. I mean, it's so easy now Back when I started couponing 12 years ago and shopping, it was so much more challenging. Now we have so much technology available where if you just want to see if something's on sale, you type it in and put sale at the end of it and a bunch of things will pop up. 
Gotcha. Is there so in the banking world, there are so many different websites out there like uh, nerdwallet.com, right? That's just one of the many that you can go and I can see every bank out there and like their mortgage rates and compare the difference. Is there a site like that? And a follow up question to that would be, are you in those in the, like, like a nerd wallet? I'll see huge discrepancies in pricing. Are you seeing huge discrepancies when you do that due diligence? Yeah. So, I mean, there's a couple of different places. There's not a place like strictly dedicated to looking for sale prices and drops. I mean, Slick Deals is a really great one and BrickSeek. Both of those websites, you can look up the sale prices at each store and it'll kind of give you a, a generalized idea. But that's kind of where why we're so popular on TikTok and Instagram is because we kind of fill in that gap where there isn't a website. Um, and then the next, what was your next question? <laughs> uh, oh, no, no, no. Are you seeing? So yeah, the next question the next is, question, that's so was. that's, those are two great resources, guys. What we'll do is we will actually put those in the show notes too. So if you didn't catch those, go to the show notes, show notes on Apple or Spotify. We'll make sure we link those and we'll make sure that we link Kirstie's profile so you can go follow her and get all her tips. The second question was one thing I've like done a lot of research about is quarter three and quarter four of 2021, even quarter two, a lot of consumer package companies or grocery stores, or these consumer packaged goods like Coca-Cola and Pepsi, they showed some of their biggest profits ever. Now that's their job for shareholders, but there's a big discussion out there. Are different companies utilizing this whole supply chain, inflation issues, all these things, and increasing their prices at a greater rate than inflation so that they're getting more profitability? And I think if I, if I kind of bring it down to the voice of the viewer type question, when you're doing all this research, are you seeing a lot of price discrepancies in technology and products amongst real t retailers, or are they pretty tight amongst the whole group? So I would say now they're pretty tight. I would say about three months ago is when you really started to see a bunch of discrepancies. So I can't really speak to technology so much because I don't coupon that and I, unless I'm like looking at Black Friday. But if yeah. I'm looking at like the cost of laundry detergent, right? So about three months ago, laundry detergent was $11.99 a container. Now it's upwards of $13. And you got to see that staggered up to, through the retailer. So like P&G was the first one to raise their prices. Then you have like... Uh, for sill, they're now going up to almost $14 a container. So that was a staggered approach, but now they're all taking advantage of it. And, and absolutely to your point, it's, they're using the, the inflation bubble as a means to kind of get more money out of the consumer. Um, they're also reducing the prices of coupons. So while they're raising the prices of their items, they're decreasing the amount of money you can save on that item. So it's just across the board crazy. But at this point now, it's, it's, it's pretty level. They're all wanting a piece of the pie and they're all gonna raise their prices to, to match everybody else. It's interesting. It's so fascinating. I was watching some of the videos too that you did. And one of the videos I saw, I think it was like CVS you were in and there was a head and shoulders product for like 12 bucks, but you knew the exact uh, way that you could buy those two products with other two products and then you would get 50% off. What type of advice do you have someone after someone that's like in the CVS or at these stores like this week or going into the holiday season as people are coming and they're seeing these prices that are crazy. Like where do you go to get coupons? How do you find those coupons? In the apps, download the store apps. If you're going to shop at one store, you have to have the app. It's no longer an option because that's where all of the savings are going to be. Paper coupons are going away. Stores aren't going to be offering sale prices. Cost of items are going to continue to skyrocket download the store apps and take five minutes before you check out and scan the products in your cart. I, all the time when I go to target, I get the things in my cart and I just go through the circle app and scan each item nine times out of 10, there's a percentage off coupon that attaches that you wouldn't know about because they don't advertise it. It's just hidden in the app. So if you shop at any store, download their store app. That's the only way you're going to be able to save money. Okay. So you said a few things that I didn't know about. So if I download, I think you said the circle app, is that Walmart's yeah. app? Okay. Target. Target. That's Target app. Duh. Okay. Yep. So I downloaded the Circle app and what they'll do is they will have coupons baked in the app that won't be in the store. So you will have Correct. to scan the item in your app. And once you do, the, the discount will come to fruition. Yep. You can take it, scan it in the app. And then when you get to the register, there's a little barcode in your app. The register scans it and you get your discounts. Okay. Super so what easy. is, this is amazing. What is the most you've ever actually like to date saved from utilizing your coupon method? I've been paid to take things out of the store. So How I've at the work? end. How? <laughs> How? How is so that possible? Not, 
So not so much anymore. A lot of that's been taken away because of coupon fraud. But back in the day, so I've been couponing for 12 years. So I once went to the grocery store with my parents and we had a bunch of paper coupons and it was kind of like extreme couponing style scanning stuff. And at the end, the register ended up owing me $2 and they don't give overage at the store. So I had to add things in um, to be able to cover the overage. But yeah, it was up $2 at the end. I think it was like a $175 total down to a two dollars up at the end it, okay, it was but awesome for, for someone who knows nothing about couponing the philosophy that how is that is it because if you package it up like the dollar discounts become greater than the price but like how what's the theory how does that happen there's a lot i mean so the the basics is stacking so what we do in couponing is stacking so basically what you're going to want to look for is you're going to look for a sale price a rebate from the store or the manufacturer and then coupons on top of it so that's how you're going to get the rock bottom prices if you can find a store that has I'll just use an example, like the head and shoulders discount that you were talking about at CVS, right? So they're normally 12 bucks a bottle. They were on sale two for 12 this week. I had a $3 off coupon. And then when I bought them, I got store cash back. And so that was a whole three stacking process to get things for ridiculously cheap and inexpensive. And that's the principle that we use throughout all of it. Okay. And okay. So it's starting to click for me so that I got the app. The stacking concept is so cool. Never knew about that. Where does one get manufacturing coupons where you don't get them in the app, but you actually get them from the, uh, like, uh, the manufacturer so you can stack? Right. So there's app coupons, but then there's also paper coupons. So the paper coupons come in your Sunday newspaper, but unfortunately, those are probably going to go to the wayside and become extinct as we get more into the digital era. Um, but then the other part you can get is manufacturer rebates. So those are rebates that you can find on apps like Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Shopkick, Swagbucks. All of those places offer cash back for buying specific items and then scanning your receipt. And the cash back goes directly into your bank account. So you're up at the end. All the money that you've already spent is right back into your bank account. Okay. Some people might hear some of these steps you're telling them to take and they might be like, eh, it seems like too much work. So I, when I do finance, I try to break down the time. Like this actually isn't that much work. It'll take you 12 minutes to download these apps and to actually go through the process of like getting the circle app and scanning. What would you say like the dedicated committed time is not to go searching for all the deals like you do. That's the work you do. And people can go follow you to get those, but to actually just do like the high level stuff. How long would that take? Five minutes. <laughs> five I mean, minutes i mean really honestly if you're in the store already you got the items in your cart you already walked through target for an hour um you take five minutes sip your starbucks for a couple more minutes and scan the items in your cart and and you'll be able to say i mean i had one lady that i was walking in through target and we were talking she recognized me from tiktok and i was scanning items in my cart she's like i just i haven't done that yet so she scanned she ended up saving 10 extra dollars on her her cart total for five minutes i mean $10 in five minutes. I think that's well worth your time. A hundred percent. Especially if you look at like, okay, suppose you're out there. I'm just throwing this number out there, but pretty good pay. 35 bucks an hour. You make 35 bucks an hour per minute. You're making about 50 cents or so. So for in, in you know, five minutes or so, five, 10 minutes or so, you're talking about, you know, three bucks. Let's do it real quick. 35 divided by 60 is 58 cents times five minutes. That's $2 and 91 cents. So okay. That's literally $2.91, or you could be saving $10, $20, $30 of after-tax money. With after-tax money, we always multiply up times 1.5. So let's say it's 30 right. bucks, 1.5. That's 45 bucks you're saving for five minutes of work. Like that, right. that makes sense. Okay. And that's just like the rock bottom price. I mean, there's been times where I've looked and scanned things and I found a 50% off coupon or I've seen like a $10 rebate. I mean, that's just what you get on average. There's definitely more out there if you take the time and just scan stuff. Okay, good stuff, guys. Scan stuff. We have those sites. Go to uh, the show notes to get those. Uh, what about just the the whole process of like places to go and places not to go? Do you have a list of for Black Friday or Cyber Monday or or just any shopping in general where you'd say these are probably top three places you'll be okay price wise? And for right now, maybe watch out for these retailers or online e commerce sites. Yeah, I think the top three places this Black Friday are definitely going to be Target, Walmart, and Amazon, 100%. They have a surplus. We've seen Target all the time in the news saying they have a surplus of items. They've been discounting home goods for the past five months, and they're still trying to get rid of things. So Target's going to be a great place for home goods, and um, probably home goods, and I would say like clothing and kids' clothing, those are going to be some great spots at, their, at Target. Amazon's going to be the spot to go for like toys and electronics. Walmart is going to be electronics and then kind of miscellaneous random stuff that you're going to find. Like I found a Blackstone grill that was like 
half off a couple weeks ago. So Walmart's more miscellaneous, but Amazon, Target, Walmart, if you go nowhere else, go those places. Okay. And are there any places that in general you're like, this holiday season I'd stay away from? Um, I don't think, I mean, this is just general every year. I don't really think Macy's is that great. I don't think JCPenney's is that great. If you're out there from Macy's, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> I just, I just don't think you're going to get like those, those stores are starting to go to the wayside, right? We're not seeing people going to malls and shopping centers. And so they're not really going to have great sales because they're trying to recruit loss. So I, I would stay away from places like JCPenney's, Macy's, Dillard's. I mean, they might have one or two things, but on mass, you're going to see Target, Walmart, and Amazon be the best places to go. Those are the top three. Guys, check those out. Okay, I want to go retail to website. So retail. I used to work at Target a long time. Like when I was in college, sophomore year, uh, total recession. My parents were like, you're coming back to Texas or you can stay up where you go to college, but you have to get an internship. I went to try and get every internship in the planet. The only one I could land at that time, 2008, complete shit show, was with Target. <laughs> 15 bucks an yeah. hour at that time, 40 hours a week. My parents were like, great, you could stay up there. It's the only exactly. reason, only my only motivation. <laughs> so I do it, and I start to learn the ins and outs of Target a little bit about like zoning and stuff like that. And so what they'll do is they have obviously these like seasonal items, right? Mm -hmm. And the season is way ahead of the actual season. So they'll prepare for, let's say, Halloween in the summer or back okay. to school in the spring, summer. And then what happens is they do this rotation of whatever those the supply of that seasonal stuff doesn't sell. It's always in the back left corner, the furthest place you can possibly walk to. And on the week to week basis, the discount increases. So they'll go from like 10, 20, 40, 75 percent off, I think is like the greatest I've ever seen. And then as a result of that, I as an employee, I'd always go in the back corner, I'd watch, I'd see for it to go down, and then I'd employ discount and I would just get as much as I could. Yes. Do you, do, do you have like retail hacks for the people that are going into the stores this year? year to go buy their holiday gifts, do their shopping, or just go to grocery stores to, to pack up for people coming home. Do you have like tips or tricks when you're in the retail store, things to know that we should know as consumers? I think the be biggest thing is going to be the same kind of scanning concept. So like for Target, Target price match, they have a price match guarantee all the way up until Christmas. So keeping an eye when you're in Target scanning items at competitors, because they'll price match to any competitor, as long as it's on their website, they can see that the competitor sells it um, and it's available you can get it price match. And that's throughout the entire holiday season. Um, as far as clearance, target clearance goes all the way to 90% off. So wow. what I've, yeah, what I'm telling people to do, what I share on my channel is shopping early for season. So I know it doesn't help people now and I'm so sorry, but what I was actually doing in July was shopping for Christmas because toys mm -hmm. went to 90% off. And so we were in the toy section at target grabbing 70 and 90% off toys. And my kid's Christmas is already done. So if you can shop early and shop smart, um, another thing that I've uh, recommended is in January. So the second week in January after Christmas, toys go 50 and 70% off. So mm. if you get your kid a gift card and say, hey, I'm going to take you shopping second week in January, your money is going to be stretched you know, double if you can wait and give your kid a gift card. That's another option out there. That's brilliant. Okay. I know I'm being repetitive with this, but it's just because I'm totally not there yet. Price okay. matching. So we go into Target. We see the, uh, I see Tide behind you. We see the Tide uh, laundry detergent. Kids are coming in. So I got a double stack. When I scan on a Target app, I'm not going, they're not going to price match for me. I have to go look at other retailers to find the price. Is there an easy way to do it? Or would you just say, go to the three top competitors, go to their website, see, type in Tide, and if the price is lower at the register, they will discount it right then. Right, so store apps, that's what, so I wish I, maybe I should just show you my phone. So my phone, yeah, my phone we can edit this, is... <laughs> we can all like edit this breakout, so yeah. So I mean, I mean, there's my, my, my cute kids, but there's also <laughs> like, I mean, I've got store apps for everything. I've got like King Super, I have high, I don't have a King Super near me, my parents do, but I have it in case my mom, <laughs> I'm ever out there and I need to do a price match or anything. But I go like, you go to Walmart and you scan items. Each app has a barcode scanner. So all you do is you, I, I wanna see if Tide's cheaper at Walmart today. I'm gonna take the barcode scanner. I'm gonna grab, I'll grab this, it's this gain thing. So I scan it with my app and it pulls up how much it is at Walmart. So you can see there at Walmart, it's that price. And that's all you do. You go up to the register and you say, hey, this is $5 on the shelf here at Target, but it's ringing up two twenty four dollars at Walmart. Can I get a price match? And they'll do Got it for it. you. Okay. So I could be in Target. I would have my Walmart app out and just scan it through Walmart. And that's right. Okay. That makes so much sense and it's so much yeah. easier. 
Understood. Yeah. Okay, those are some good ideas, guys. Gift cards going into January, price matching, especially at a place like Target where they will adhere to it. What about the whole idea of buying online? Are there any uh, tips or tricks you have for buying online during the holidays or, or, or really any time? Yeah, so shopping through places like Rakuten and Top Cash Back are going to be great places to get extra cash back, especially on Black Friday. If you do nothing else, get a Rakuten account sign up and you'll be able to earn usually Rakuten does like 15 to 20 percent cash back on any purchase on black friday so you'll go into your Rakuten account you'll search the retailer walmart target amazon ulta vans nike whatever and you shop through that website and you will be directed to the, the retailer you want and after your item ships you'll get the percentage cash back into your your Rakuten account and that's a way to increase savings that not a lot of people know about because you're not getting anything extra. It doesn't cost the retailer anything extra. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You're just cashing in and banking money into your Rakuten account for items you're already going to buy. Okay. That's a good good advice. Again, we'll link Rakuten in the show notes. I want to give you a chance here, uh, Kirsty. So I, I saw on your um, TikTok that you will only show and utilize coupons that you personally use. So yep. yes, of course, listen, we're very transparent with money. Yes, of course, if it's an affiliate program, there's probably some kickback or you're getting paid to some capacity. But what I liked is that on your on your TikTok, you own that. You're like, yes, I get a kickback, but I'm only telling you the ones that I will use. So right. what are some of like the best coupons or codes you have out there that someone right now could like save a couple bucks going into the holiday season? I think the best ones are going to be Costco membership for only $15. You can get Sam's Club membership for 50% off. I have a lot of things in my account that I just kind of share, but they're more like instant deals and affiliate. I, I like to put out things that I know, okay, this is good for my family. This is good for me. My Telegram group has a bunch of things where I'm like, hey, this is cheap. I bought this for my kids. I use this every day. Um, I, I find there's a lot more genuine authenticity when I'm out there going, Hey, I, here's a picture of this in my house. I actually <laughs> use this and love this. Yes. Here's a picture of my receipt. I actually bought this, you know, I want you guys to save. I'm, I, but I'm also not trying to use this as a money grab. I'm, I'm genuinely, because I've been the person on the other side of the black Friday screen going crap. I have a hundred dollars for both my kids for Christmas and I need to make this work. So I, I want people to feel like I'm reaching them in a way that's genuine and authentic. So there's a couple things on my website, but really, honestly, if you go to my page, the main thing I want you to do is never pay for toothpaste. I want you to never pay more than 50% off. And I want you to save money on things that you use every day. So those are great options in my website. But really, when you come to my page, I really want you to save. Okay. Never Can pay you... for toothpaste. I see caught your eye. <laughs> never pay for toothpaste. I just spent eight never. bucks on damn toothpaste. So never pay never. for toothpaste. toothpaste Repeat those. What was, the... free. what was the second one? Always 50% off. Always what, is, 50% what do you off. mean by that? What does that anything, mean? Anything, anything here. I, I never pay more than 50% of retail price. Never. You will never catch me paying more than 50% on any of these items except for toothpaste, which is always free. I feel you, like you an always, asshole because I keep saying this, but how just coupons? Is that the just answer? Coupons, coupons and sales. I mean, honestly, I every, every week there is a deal to get toothpaste for free. It's always free. Colgate crest. I mean, Sensodyne's the hardest one, but even Sensodyne I've gotten paid to take out of the store. It, it's, it's just you have to look for the deals and you have to be willing to just clip a couple coupons on your phone and and you'll be able to save money. I, I, I met this one lady. I went to Disney World with my friends uh, a couple weeks ago and uh, she was there with her son. She's a single mom. Um, so she was talking to me about why how she got to Disney World. She starts crying. She's like, I found you a year ago. And by using all of your coupon hacks, I was able to save up enough money to take my kid to Disney World for the first time. And I never would have been able to do it if I hadn't started shopping smart and saving my money. Someone's able to take their kids on a week-long Disney World vacation because they clipped a couple coupons on their phone. I mean, and it's not like I'm asking people to go out and do the same thing that grandma did where she sat at the kitchen table and with her coupons and her scissors. Like, use your phone. Everybody has their phone. And five minutes in the store, people are saving hundreds of dollars. Um, but yeah, don't, never pay for toothpaste. Fifty percent off everything, and and save money on things you need. If you need it, you can save money on it. I promise. Yeah, I think this is just so critical because so many people are asking how to get raises, how to get paid more. Inflation, inflation, inflation. There's two sides of the equation. It's the cash mm -hmm. in and the cash out. Cash mm -hmm. out. If you can do some of this stuff every time you're in a store and save a few hundred bucks, and then over a year, let's say it's like five or $10,000, again, multiply that times 1.5, that's 15, you just put $15,000 onto your gross income. I, I, right. I love it as a strategy. Other than paying retail, 
uh, which is something I do all the time, like a complete idiot. Changing, no! that right now. <laughs> Changing that right now after this call, trading secrets. What do you think, other than that, what do you think is like the biggest mistake your average consumer listening probably makes when shopping? Shopping at one store. Okay. Only one store. Going into one store and getting all of your items at that one store. I think that's a huge mistake because you're going to see items be ridiculously marked up at one store and super cheap at the next. And with curbside pickup and online ordering and all of these options out there, it, it makes, I, so for example, I have one friend, she lives in Florida and she has a Publix and she went and bought bread at Publix and it was $5 a loaf at Publix and Target, it's a dollar fifty. And like, she was like, well, I just, it was in one store. I'm like, why? You, you can order it on your Target app, get it curbside, pick it up. You're not doing any extra steps and saving three fifty. Like it just doesn't make any sense to me. I know gas is expensive and I get that. And I know that's a hindrance for some people, but when you have options like this to be able to look and shop sales and be strategic shopping at one store just doesn't make any sense. Okay. I love it. And then I also think optimizing time is a big barrier. People are like, it takes too much time. So let's try and save some people some time. What are some products in general that you might say or have recognized over your 12 years of doing this? Like, Hey, listen, don't go down the rabbit hole in this type of arena. It's it's very unlikely you're going to save any money. And if you do, it's going to be very minimal. Is there a certain product or type of product that kind of fits that category? Yeah. So, I mean, I, I love telling people, I, I get this reaction all the time. Never buy your laundry detergent at Costco or Sam's Club. You think you're saving money and you're just getting ripped off. Mm. Um, I, I wouldn't buy any health or beauty products at Sam's Club or Costco. Same thing. Um, I think that if you're going to buy any home good essentials, People don't think to go into places like CVS, Walgreens, and Target to buy these. They're like, oh, no, those are expensive places. But those are the stores that offer the biggest savings and places you get things for free. So on a whole, if you're going to buy any kind of home essentials, please do not buy them at like a Publix or a Safeway or a Costco or Sam's Club. Like, please just try it and see if you can get your stuff for cheap. Um, but as a whole, I, I mean, I think Costco and Sam's Club are great. I love the rotisserie chicken. That is definitely something awesome at Costco that you should get. But as far as this stuff goes, like really, honestly, CVS, Walgreens, Target, go there. There's your answer. That's amazing. Uh, Kirstie, this has been very informative. I even have some trading secrets to take away. What we have to end with, though, is your trading secret. You already gave a ton of tips and tricks, but what would you say like your number one trading secret is? And this could be to your coupon process, to saving money in the stores, to career management, money management, anything. You got to give us your trading secret. What would that be? I think the biggest thing that I want people to take away from is take five minutes. I really do. I think if, you, if people really think that this takes a long time and I get it and I get that's a hindrance, take five minutes and try it. The secret is five minutes, scan things on your phone, five minutes in the store if you want to try a deal and, and go from there. I think if you have five minutes and a little bit of patience, anybody can save this kind of money. I love it. Five minutes and a little bit of patience. And for all those viewers out there that are like, I need like myself, I need Kirstie in my life. Where can they find your handles, your programs, your website, everything you have going on? Yeah. So I'm on TikTok and Instagram and it's uh, torok.coupon.hunter on both of those places. And then I also have a telegram. You just search Torok Coupon Hunter and that'll pop up. Torok the Coupon Hunter. Thank you so yes. much for being on this episode of Trading Secrets. Thank you. Thank Go you. save I appreciate some money, it. guys. Awesome.